Your brand is literally anything visual on your website. Why would I rebrand? Neely the Toolman at your service. <laughs> I'm loving it. Welcome to the journey. Today we're going to give you some great ideas for rebranding your website. All right, Neely, I know that I brought you here today to talk about rebranding, but I got to be honest, I don't quite understand when or why we should be doing that. Like I've had my website, Coffee and Kit Clips, for a few years. I love the way it looks. Like the brand is consistent across all my sites. Why would I rebrand? Yeah, there's a lot of different reasons why we may rebrand. Some of us have built our sites years back, right? And maybe it's time to put a, just a fresh coat of paint on the house, as Facelift. I like to call it, right? <laughs> yeah, so that that, that rebrand of your website can really increase the perceived professionalism for your business and for your brand. It also helps to just make it a little bit more modern and fresh. There's a lot of cool marketing trends and ideas and website designs out there to that just are, are the norm now. Mm -hmm. And what you did way back when may not really apply. And you also want to make sure that your site's responsive and it looks good on mobile because everyone's on mobile, right? Absolutely. So those are some of the, the biggest reasons why that you'll you'll really want to rebrand your website this year. All right. So I put a lot of time. I do. have put a lot of energy and money into this. Right. Where do I start when it comes to rebranding? Yeah. To understand what your brand is, your brand is literally anything visual on your website. So that, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. So I just realized that when you said that. Yeah. So we're talking social media. Oh, my merchandise. Merchandise, website, logo, all that Font. stuff. Just anything your, your customers see on your site. Mm -hmm. First step, we got to create what's called a style guide. A style guide is basically just a document that you have all your, your information on about you, your brand, mm -hmm. what colors you use, mm -hmm. what fonts you use, the logos you use literally everything visual, it helps to put it in one document. So that way when yeah. you do go and rebrand, you follow that document to a T and you're not like, ah, oh, I create this page and it has like this font and then this page has this font because it creates inconsistency. Mm -hmm. We want to have that consistent brand across yeah. and then I'll carry over to social media, right? And like GoDaddy, we have the GoDaddy green, right? Yeah, the GoDaddy green and orange, like you see it everywhere. Yeah. And you instantly think of GoDaddy. And yeah. there's a lot of different colors out there that you can use that have different meaning. Like red means like bold and excitement. And if you really want to change the your brand itself to be perceived as something different, maybe changing up the colors might be that easy first step. And then adding on to that a style guide and really making it consistent, right? When you mm -hmm. think of consistency, we'll we'll pick a brand for example. Like what is the first thing you think of when you think of McDonald's? Ooh. I'm loving it. Right. They, they've created that <laughs> brand, that logo. That's the first thing you think of. And then like the M, those two arches Golden that make arches. the M, the red and yellow is literally across their website, across their brand, across social media. It's everywhere and it's consistent. So mm -hmm. if you go to Instagram, you have the same look and feel as you would go to Twitter, as they would go to Facebook, Facebook yeah. as you would go to their site. It creates consistency. So when you see it out in the wild, you're like, I'm loving it, right? <laughs> and that's perfect. You want to do the same thing with your brand yeah. so that no matter what, anyone finds you on like, oh, yeah, that's that one business. Yeah. That's you. I recognize it. <laughs> right. I recognize it. <laughs> All right, Neely. Definitely getting some great tips about the rebrand. It's feeling a little less overwhelming. Um, but as I always ask when we get into other marketing endeavors, what are the tools? Are there tools? Explain. Neely the tool man at your service. <laughs> no. So there are a couple tools that I use to help help different clients and customers really rebrand mm -hmm. their their business. So the easiest is just get a Word doc or a Google doc or whatever you use to house some of the information in. But as far as the, the visuals go, that's gonna be Canva. Canva is my, it's, it's my yeah. life, right? So you can create all sorts of social templates and logos and just literally any visual aspect of your business mm -hmm. there. So you create your Instagram post, right? Yeah. Your templates as you do. As I do. And then you can create, you can resize it to be a Twitter header and update a little bit. Still has the same brand, still has the same fonts. You can create all those templates. So when you go to create even more content, you start from your style guide, yeah. your your template, right? And you go from there. Efficient. All right, Emma. So another thing that I tell my clients is you have to be intentional with your rebrand. Mm. Don't just rebrand because it's a new year, new you, right? It's a I say the same thing about social media posting. Yeah. Don't just post because you haven't posted in a week. 
Right. It's got to be intentional. It's got to be thought provoking and it has to be for a reason. Mm -hmm. So that rebrand is really if you want to elevate your brand, elevate your professionalism, maybe change how you're perceived in the world. You want to be known as uh, a green company that really gives back to their environment. So maybe update your logos and your colors, your brands to be green, right? Because that's really that symbol for it. Or if you want your yeah. your business, your brand to be exciting, maybe look into some yellows on your site and putting some yellows into your brand because color is super important. Same thing with the fonts you use. You don't want to just use the same old boring fonts. If you go to google.com slash fonts, there's an entire library of free fonts that you can use for your cool. site and get some cool little variations that really, really make your brand stand out. So many things to think about. <laughs> right. All right, that's all we have for you on. Some great ideas to rebrand your website. And we'd love to know if you have any other ideas or what you plan on doing. Let us know in the comments below. Also, be sure to like the video, share it. There's other businesses out there with very similar questions. Maybe they're going through a rebrand dilemma. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you'll be the first to know when we have another video out. This is a journey.